Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this type of effect in Adobe Illustrator. Alright, let's get to it. First off, grab your type tool or press T on your keyboard and write whatever text you want to have. Adjust the size to your liking, then go to Effect 3D Extrude and Bevel. Uh, now you can click and drag here this little box to choose which side of your text you want to show. Um, I'm going to choose one of the pre-made ones, let's say, and I'm going to choose this isometric one. Um, I'm going to add more points to the, my extrude depth. I'm going to go with 100, but you can decide. You can also make it however long you want. <laughs> There's no right number or wrong number here. And then I'm going to go with no shading, then press OK. Let's zoom in a little bit. Go to Object, Expand Appearance, and then you're going to ungroup it this three times. So one, two, and three. Now you're going to press Shift M, or you can click here to grab the Shape Builder tool. And we are going to fix our shape because you can see it's a little bit messy right now. Uh, so we want to have one shape for our front, one shape for our top, and for our sides. So this has got to be together. This guy's got to be together with these guys. And just merge your shapes. And uh, I think we're. I think this is good. Yep. All right. You're going to now select all of these sides facing the front, and you can double click here to change its color. Or I'm going to press I on my keyboard to grab my eyedropper tool and select one of the colors from my palette. Now we're going to select all the ones, all the faces from this side and same thing eyedropper tool and I'm gonna choose a dark one oops here I messed up I'm gonna fix this then select all your top faces and select make your color all right Select your front faces again, command G to group them, then press command C and command shift V to paste in place. You can also find these here, edit, copy, and then paste in place. We are going to click here to swap the fill with the stroke. Double click here to change the stroke color and we'll make this a lighter color. We're gonna add another point to the stroke weight and then with our arrow keys we're going to move this slightly we are then going to go to effect stylize outer glow you can play with the settings over here this these are the ones i'm going to use but you can maybe they don't work for your design because you have different um, sizes and whatever so just play around with the settings to find whatever suits your design best then I'm going to select my filled color sides and going to gonna go to effect um, stylize inner glow. Choose a darker color of your text and play with these settings again. This is what works for me. It might not work for you, but you can play around with the settings and press OK. That's it. We're all done. So cool. I really like this one. Anyways, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Comment down below if you have any requests. Uh, like the video. Follow me on Instagram to see where I post all my design stuff. And also follow me on TikTok where I post short one-minute versions of these tutorials that I post on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!